Hi Libra, welcome to your unexpected reading for February 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to seven cups of spiritual tea. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this may resonate as yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Libra, what do we got here for Libra? Libra, the unexpected, February 2020. Knight of Wands, all right, get it. Ooh, <laughs> hold on, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, oops, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. Okay. All right. Let's get into it here. Got the little guys. Okay. Oh, I see who we're dealing with. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we've got some hot chemistry here. Just saying, right off the bat, like it's just like shoving me against the wall. It's like this big, huge push. So there's, there, for the Libras I'm reading for, that's like one of the things that is really keeping you quite possibly connected and is also in question uh, in this relationship is is uh, lots, of, lots of passion here. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, um, things are in flow with you two. <laughs> okay, so what's this two of cups about? This could be uh, Capricorn, this could be Taurus. Okay, so what's, what's this two of cups about? What's this two of cups about for Libra? Two of wands, okay. All right. I think someone has decided to leave a situation. Um, well, I shouldn't be so definitive first, but it feels like things are really good right now. And it's because someone has made some decisions about where to go and, and who to be with. And yeah, all right, what's this eight? What's this Knight of Pentacles about? This Knight of Pentacles, oopsie. Oh gosh, cards all over the place. For Libra, what's this Knight of Pentacles about for Libra? Okay, that's the magician. This could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Seven of Wands, all right. What's this Ace of Cups? Okay, so the thing is, this is all well and good for now. What worries me is that this person seemingly moved mountains to do this, to be where you are, to which is really great and it feels really good and it's been a long time coming and let's do this and we're, we're it's, you're on a real high note, um, which is great. I worry that it might be fleeting because of how the person got to you, how they got where they are with you, what they had to do to get there. I worry about that. I worry about the foundation story which typically was they were involved with somebody else and they left that person um, quite suddenly actually to come be where you are, which is really great for now, but time's gonna have to tell on this one and typically historically when that happens, it is repeated. So, um, but I, I mean, I know you know that because for the Libras I'm reading for, you know this person's origin story or you know where they came from once when. So, um, it's the only thing I'm worried about because this is someone that has got that special something something that just is checking all the boxes for you and you're really feeling quite um, like that there's a lot of potential for this person and you two are definitely on a high note. But this person also is used to getting their way and being able to go after what they want and they always, this person that you're with Libra always gets what they want. Make no mistake about that. Right now, you are it for them. You're what they want. Right now. 
So just know that about this person, okay? I just I just want that to be known. All right, what's this Page of Pentacles? This is Page of Pentacles. Oh, this is Page of Wands, sorry. Page of Wands, what's this Page of Wands? Clear that. All right, what's this Page of Wands about? page ones okay Libra <laughs> this is this is what it is and you you're up and running with this person and all right you are where you are please do not think that this is different please take it based on action and day by day um, because you've got some markers here that would suggest that this is really great for now but there could be um, it's almost like while this person is interested in you or while there's interest, while there's adventure, while there's passion, while there's fun, this is a fun, adventurous, passionate partnership. If you're wanting stability, time will tell on that. If you're wanting it for what it is, then that's that's what it is right now. So you're where you should be or you're where it is what it is. It's what you want, okay. But if you're wanting stability with this person, um, you need to measure the behavior and you need to be prepared that it could go either way because you're on a real high note with this person but how they got to you uh, you need to remember that and you need to see this as um honestly as something of a bit of a romp and a lot of fun but this person you're with kind they always make sure they get what they want and they can be very fickle so you need to be careful that you don't get your heart broken and i i see this ace of cups here i see this three of cups i see the two of cups I'm just a little worried that you're like, oh, this is it. We are good. We're golden. It's, it's, that's, it is for now. But remember that they left someone behind to be with you. This was somebody that was already with somebody and then you caught their eye and they moved towards you. So it feels, for some of you, it might feel really special and it felt like they moved mountains or that you were so special that it, or what you have was so special that it kind of, um, was worth this person changing their situation so you two could be together. That's not necessarily honorable, so that shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, that's not something you, that's really flattering, actually. That's something that's just, it's just, please have perspective about this. I don't mean to poo-poo on a good thing, but we got this devil here, and I just, I, that can't be overlooked. That cannot be overlooked. What's this devil about? this devil about if we didn't have this devil here I'd be like oh this is in its inception and it's going really well and you guys are just clicking on all cylinders or whatever firing on all cylinders you're there's a connection there's passion interest you um, like-mindedness lots of fun lots of potential here but then we have this one show up what's this devil about This is someone leaving a relationship. This is someone leaving this behind to go to where you are and maybe go to the next person. And this is, that's, and it re represents a cycle that this person does this. They've done it before and there's the possibility that it could happen again. So this needs to be experienced with that perspective. And knowing that that knowing this person's origin story and seeing it for what it is, and instead of getting very invested in this, um, just please know the guy. I feel I feel like I'm just you know downplaying a good thing. It just it feels good right now, but time's gonna have to tell on this one. You're gonna need to be very careful that you don't get overly emotionally invested in this person because they're very fickle and they're gonna move on and forward this and that um so just you have to know that because that's what how they got to you just saying okay all right so um i don't know i wonder if there was there's for some of you or very few of you but this could represent like a quick pairing quick coupling quick marriage like eloping um i mean that that could be playing out here I think this is someone that you just you just need to know that this is very right now and it's hot and heavy and intense and you need to keep that in mind that that's the way it is now but this it 
you know, what's it going to look like in six months? Or is there a fit for that? Is there, are you feeling that? If you're in it just for fun, okay then. If you're wanting something much more um, stable or with longevity, that can be an issue just because, it, like I said, I, I keep getting, this person is really fickle. And we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician here. This is someone that always strategically manifests and gets what they want. And they are patient and they wait and they're dogmatic about things. Like they're, certain things are very important to them where they don't veer off the track. They just, they do what they want to do. So, okay. So, um, right now you are that. And I think they're actually asking you to take, go on this adventure with them or however they're romantically putting it. But this is someone that's kind of asking you to accept um, their offer, which is even, it feels like it's making you feel more special because now you get to be in the position of, well, I don't know. Whereas before they kind of were because they were otherwise occupied and then you two have been doing this thing. And so all of a sudden they move mountains to be where you are and you get to kind of be the one to go, well, I don't know. And then they kind of pursue you and they're waiting for your, you know, answer. And it, that can feel really good. And this is someone that's like, I'm, I'm staying right here and I'm not going anywhere. And I'm going to, you know, again, this is someone that will wait. They're patient. They're dogmatic. They're, they're very intense and laser focused, which can have its really um, good qualities. It's also someone with very domineering or controlling tendencies. Just saying. I just want you to know the duality of this because it can feel really good when you're like, oh my gosh, it can make you feel so special. But when their attention is not on you anymore, it can also be really painful, especially if they were so charming and attentive and just so awestruck before. And then you're just part of the wall, you know, later that's it's the the void <laughs> and the disconnect can be quite um, painful. And, and again, right now you're on a high note. You could even, for some of you, there could even be a proposal. There could be like a, just this crazy, like, let's elope. Let's just do it. There, it, Things could get seriously fast-tracked and move uh, quite quickly. But you're dealing with someone that always has a plan and always gets what they want. So she or he, just just know that about this person. And please give this more time. Give this more time so you can get to know the whole person here and, and what their temperament is and how they handle crisis and, and what their lows are like and what their highs are like. This is going to need more time. It's in its inception and you need to get a, a fuller picture of this person. What else for Libra? So be the, this, honestly, <laughs> this February is going to be full of romance and you know, being swept off your feet and being pursued and, and someone saying all the right things and doing all the right things and it being so intense and romantic, it sounds wonderful, but you also need to give this a lot of time. A lot of time. Because this is someone that's like basically you were waiting for them before, now they're waiting for you and it doesn't look like they're moving. They're going to wait for you and that feels really good, that attention, that devotion. Um, and the promises and, and you two are in sync and it's going to happen quicker than you think. I think that them coming to you is rather unexpected for you. And also you two being so in sync. I mean, the chemistry here is incredible. Get to know this person outside of, outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Can I say that? Um, and do lots of stuff with them, or at least get to know, just, yeah, get to, please get to know the whole person. Oh, we got the tower here. That could be um, uh, Scorpio. Right. So what else for Libra? Because I'm telling you, this month is going to be busy, and it's going to be a flurry, and it's going to be, honestly, everything you wanted for, a, you waited for a long time for this, and it's going to be great. And why am I not happier about this? Honestly, it feels something is not what it should be. This this started off on the wrong foot. That's what bothers me is this person's origin story or how they got to you bothers me. I, 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 what else would they, I just feel like...
Seven of Swords, Devil, and the Ten of Cups. This is cheating. This is someone who cheated. This is someone who's very careful. It, at the very least, it's someone who's careful and strategic. And they always get what they want. They make sure of it. This is this person is not someone to be trifled with. Like they this is the good side of them. This is a fun, romantic, passionate side of them. But what does that look like on a bad day? What does that look like when they feel like someone's wronged them? You know what I mean? This is I, I think this is about being cautious also, that you need to know what and whom you're dealing with. Just saying. Oh my gosh, I hate being a negative Nelly. And I honestly, I if this if we didn't have this, I'd be like, yes, get it. Go for it. But this, you need to know who you're dealing with here. Very charismatic, this person. Oh, wrong, wrong deck. All right. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? It, for some of you, it could also be that even though this person has come to you now, they're still kind of haunted or connected to their past. So even though they're free and clear to be with you, there might be a bit of a half-life or like all of a sudden it's not what you thought it was. There might be some disappointment like this isn't happened. This Even though you're free and you're able to be with me now, like you're here, you're in front of me, you know, it, it can be about us. It still might not quite live up to what you thought it would be. It could be that, um, that it's less than what you thought it was. There, there's not, because there, there tends to be this idea that was once we get to be together, we'll do a lot of things together and we'll be deciding on groceries together and then we'll go do this or we'll go do that. Like it'll be the whole picture and it's there's still something missing. You, some of you might find there still might be something missing, um, even though this person's standing right in front of you now. So just, this is like, there's just... It's not the whole picture maybe that you thought it would be, is what I'm saying. But it does happen, and it happens very quickly, and it feels really good at the time. So it need, you need more time to um, have this pan out. What else for it? Libra? <laughs> Watch and wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Truer words. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about here. I, I just want more time. I just, I want you to watch and measure behaviors and be able to get the whole picture with this person. I'm, I mean, I'm glad just because it's like, I don't want to sit here and, and be like, oh, labor, you can't have it. I know it looks good, but you can't. No, there's a reason why I'm like, oh, be careful. There's a reason. What else for Libra. That's for Libra. For Libra. The Fool. And two of Wands. All right. So you've got this. We got the Two of Wands right here too. And this is this is someone coming to you and and offering you a choice or asking for a decision, asking what your decision will be. This is someone waiting on you. That attention can feel really good. And it could be that this um, might be something a bit foolhardy and reckless, or it could be a new beginning. But what kind of new beginning? Are you going to choose to, to dance with this person, <laughs> dance with the devil? Are you gonna do that knowing where they came from, knowing how you two came to be? Or are you gonna do the unexpected and be like, I wanna wait some more, I wanna give it some more time. Um, and as quick as this started, it also leaves. So like February is just like this flurry of romance and chemistry and adventures and then all of a sudden BAM some of you might decide not to you might decide to just keep it surface level and at the passionate level but not really lay down any roots with this person even though you've kind of been dealing with them for a while and kind of took a long time to finally have them standing in front of you and now you're like I don't know maybe you're the fickle one <laughs> but just be careful please just Know who you're dealing with and, and watch and wait and keep this in perspective. Because we've got someone that, um, hmm, yeah, you know, you know your story, you know your person. Um, 
This is someone that never fully lets go of something until they have something else. And even if they do, this is someone that could also still be affected by what they just left behind because they maybe didn't close it out all the way. They didn't leave it in the right way. They didn't handle their business. And you, the reason why there's this watch and wait here is because you might be finding out about that later on after this passionate February is over with and they're still having to sneak away to go deal with something and you're like, what's going on? I thought you, and then it's going to come to light that, well, uh, you don't have the whole picture yet. You need to watch and wait. It's a lot of fun, a lot of passion that that part's there, but, um, you need you need yeah yeah because right now they're all about you and i will wait and i feel really strongly about this let's do this you and i look how much work we had to get here i'm standing right in front of you all they're saying all the right things but there's still some part of them that you don't know about or you don't you just don't know the whole picture yet i'm gonna stop saying that thank you for stopping by um i i hope this was helpful i, I don't mean to rain on a parade here the chemistry and the adventure and the passion, all good things. I just worry that it's for only right now and you've been waiting for this for a long time and you're more into this, I think, in the longevity of it than perhaps the person you're dealing with is. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Happy February to you. Love and support to you. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. You take care.